Hey, what's going on everybody? Grant the Mountain Bike Noob here. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to easily inflate your mountain bike tires. If you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. Really appreciate you guys. And all right, enough talk, let's get into it. All right, first things first, you're gonna need a mountain bike in order to fill the tires. Check, we got mountain bike, we got tires. All right, so there's two types of valves in bikes. So the one you've probably seen the most on like kids bikes and that are like, I guess you could say a little easier, are called Schrader valves. Schrader valves are those typical ones that like throw a pick right here, maybe right here, somewhere over here, um, are the like normal ones you see in like inflatable like tubes and rafts and stuff like that. But for mountain bikes, at least when they get a little fancier, they're the Presta valves. I'll throw a picture of that right here. I'll get up close in there too so you can see what I'm talking about. So Presta valves require a different uh, pump. So what I got here, very important, is a pump. Wow, yeah, that's, that's what you need to inflate your tire. Who would have thunked it, am I right? All right, so this pump though, it's nice about it. There's two things I like about it. One, it has a gauge, so it can tell you how high inflated PSI. How many pounds per square inch you're inflating that tire at? Which is important, because you could do your old fashioned, you know, like a little squeezy squeeze, like, oh, that feels good, sure, let's go with that, why not? But, the reason I don't like that necessarily is because you never are consistent. So let's say you like it one day, it feels good, you're on the trail, like, ooh, that's nice, I love that PSI, but you can't really do this again and be like, oh, that's exactly, you know, 20 PSI, 25, 30, you have no idea. So it's nice to have one of these bad boys that has a gauge on it. This, this is super cheap too, it's on Amazon for like, I think 25 or 30 bucks, there's a million of them, it doesn't even matter which. But the second thing ooh, that I like about this bad boy is that one, okay, three things, sure. You got a long tip hose, which is nice, because that makes it easier. I hate when they're like, the hose is this short, it doesn't make it easy at all. But two, this has a double valve. So this side does Presta valves, which such as the mountain bikes, and this side does the Schrader valves, such as like tubes, inflatables, whatever. And it also comes with this down here, which is like, if you want to inflate, I don't know, a volleyball or whatever else you need, other little things you need to inflate. So this is nice. What you do, you put this side, this on mine it's the gray, on the um, Presta and then you do it that direction and then it locks on the Presta. And then if you wanna do a Schrader, exact opposite, you put the Schrader right there and bloop, and there you go and you start pumping up. All right, let me show you how I do this on the actual bike. All right, now you can see we're down here at the tire. So I always try and get the valve at the bottom, just make it easier because if it's up here, you know, it's kind of annoying. And I'll show you what I was talking about. So this, whoop. oh yeah, let's get a little focus on there. All right, as you can see, we got PSI. So as you're pumping it up, it shows you. Um, I like it usually like right above 20, um, probably around there, depending on how I feel. Of course, you can change it. It's all up to you how you feel, but around 20. And then I'll show you the valve up close. This is what I was talking about. Here's the valve. It's got two sides. So this right here, bloop, that's the press of the valve. Oh, you're going to focus. So like I said, if you want to put in the press like mine, you'll put it in and you turn it the opposite way. And now it's locked into this valve. And then this is the Schrader valve. Bloop. So same thing. You want to put a Schrader, boop, that way. And you push it the opposite way and you get it going. All right, let's do this. So first things first, unscrew your cap right here. I usually like to put these in my pocket because they're so easy to lose because they're so small. So if they're in your pocket, it's a lot harder to lose. And then, as you can see, this is the Presta. So this has a little metal screw right here at the very top of it. So you have to unscrew it. And now that you're unscrewed it, now you can push it down and listen. Oop. So that's letting out air is what that's doing. Um, sometimes this might be a little jammed if it's screwed on really tight and you haven't unscrewed it in a long time. So you might need to get some uh, needle nose pliers and just softly just pinch it and just twist until you uh, get it unlocked and then you can unscrew it real easily with your hands. All right, but now that it's unscrewed, like I said, we go to our valve, you ready? So we're gonna put this side on there and then when we get it on there, push it nice and firm and then click it out and then it'll be locked on there. All right. So let's put it on there. So it's on, I'm holding it snug, and then pull out. And you can hear it leaked a little bit when I put it on there, but now that I pulled it out, it's locked. It is on there. Okay, so now we get to pumping. Okay, so obviously, I see it's at kind of a weird angle, but here we are. All right, so I got it hooked up right there. Here's our gauge we can see. Bloop. It's at like, just at 20 right now. Um, so let's start pumping. So just take it, start pumping. As you can see, it's going to go up. might take you a little longer, a little shorter, depending on how big your actual pump is and how inflated your tire is. But now it's at about, uh, 
Let's go 25. Couple more pumps. Pump it, pump it, pump it up. All right, we got 25 now. So now we're at 25. If I feel the tire, I'm feeling the tire, you can't tell, but it feels good to me. Um, like I said, I normally have it just probably just above 20, maybe a little lower than it is right now. But um, now it's nice and pumped up. Uh, you go now to undo it, same thing. Let's go lower again. All right, now we're back down here. So what you're gonna do, uh, same thing but reverse, grab this, flick it down, and then pull right off. As you can see, it released a little air, but that's all good, it always does that, it's pretty hard not to. And then you're gonna screw the valve back on. Don't do it super tight, like I said um, before. If you do that, you'll have to unscrew with pliers, you don't want that, just do it tight enough with your fingers, finger snug. Is that a thing? Finger snug, sure. All right, and then take this bad boy out of your pocket, the little cap, put that back on. Same thing, not too snug. Just enough to tighten it on there. All right, so now you got that. Our tire's looking good. Could uh, do the fuel test. Yeah, it feels like a tire, all right. All right, so then there's that tire, and then you do the exact same thing with the back tire. I do the uh, same exact PSI, same steps, same everything for that. And then, once you got that going, you are good to go, good to go uh, shred some gnar, hit those mountains, uh, hit that downhill, hit those jumps, whatever you like to do, uh, you're ready for it. All right guys, hope that was helpful. Now you're ready to go, tires nice and inflated to how you like it. Um, ready to go hit the mountain, uh, hit the trails. Thanks for watching, really appreciate you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, appreciate you guys for that. And as always, have a good one. Hey, what's going on everybody?